Welcome to Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed. This is actually the first tutorial for our friend Sky on design. And there's an advanced tutorial series on making clothes in Blender. Now, uh, we're going to do a lot of different things here with clothes. We're actually going to make quite a few different articles, and we're going to uh, show you how to add them to characters, make them move with the armature, and do a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, the first thing we're going to make here to introduce the idea, um, I have a female model that I want to uh, put a couple little pieces of clothes on before we uh, start working with her. So uh, <coughs> I'm going to make first um, kind of a pair of underwear and then a uh, tank top for her. <coughs> so. And then we're actually going to come back and make some male clothes. And then I'm going to show you how to uh, attach those to the male model. And then we'll come back to the female model. I'll have those two articles already uh, put on her. And I'll show you how to continue making further clothes on her. But, uh, yes, let me go ahead and make these uh, quick little things. because um, these are nice and easy. First thing you definitely want to do is uh, delete this cube out of here. That's definitely not the shape we want to be working with. Okay, now the shape we want to be working with, we want to add... You can actually delete everything over here if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and leave the camera and the light over there for now. They're not in the right place. We'll actually change them around a little bit. But, uh, first thing we want to do is add say for me I'm gonna go ahead and keep it simple I know I want to wrap this around the body so the first thing I'm gonna put in there is a cylinder okay now we want to change its location to zero 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 Alright, now I want to jump into edit mode and start working with it. So hit tab on your keyboard. Now the very first thing we want to do is actually scale it a little different. Now we want to scale it along the z-axis, so hit S on your keyboard to start scaling it. Okay, but we want to lock it to the z-axis, so hit Z as well. And now you see we've locked it to the z-axis. And now this is just going to be the top band, so I want this to be fairly thin, right? That looks good enough for me. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is we need to delete the top and bottom of this cylinder. We just want that ring around it there. So go ahead and hit faces here, and come in and hit control. Hold control and use your left mouse, actually A to deselect everything first. Control, hold your left mouse, circle up all of these middle faces here, and go ahead and hit delete on your keyboard and delete those faces. And then hit control, hold control and circle the bottom ones and go ahead and delete those faces too. Okay, so now we have our basic ring. That's what we'll start out with and that's what we'll be making our entire um, a pair of underwear out of. Alright. So the next thing we want to do is actually start um, extruding this down a little bit. Right? So come into a edge mode and uh, select all these edges around the bottom of this ring. I'm holding shift and right clicking to select the multiples. Control Z. There. Now I have those right. I want to extend those down a bit along the Z axis again. So I want to E for extrude. And then Z to keep them on the Z axis. Let's pull down. Um, click right there.
and legs. Actually start scaling those in just a little bit. So I want to press scale, pull it in just a tiny bit. Okay. Now I want to extrude that down along the z-axis again. So E, Z, pull that down another notch. Go ahead and left click to select and scale that in just a little bit. S to scale. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and extrude another layer down. So E, Z. Make this one just a little bit longer. Left click to select it. And I want to pull this in pretty far, so scale again, S. Pull that in about like that. Okay. I want to move it up just a little bit, make it just a little bit more round along the bottom there. Now we know we want uh, this to only have a straight line through the middle. So come through uh, vertices and select this vertice, this vertice, this one, and this one. And hit F on your keyboard to make a face. And then this one, this one, this one, and this one. And hit F again. Oh, excuse me. Delete. Uh, right click to undo that. F. Okay, now I had to deselect everything. Alright, now we have a pretty funky shape. This isn't exactly what we want at all. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to subdivide these two here so we have some more uh, lines to work with. So, You can uh, hit your spacebar, you can hit W, it brings up some, uh, this is your specials option on W on your uh, spacebar is your search option. You can find it there, the specials menu is right there. Or you can just hit W and we want to subdivide this. Okay, we want to subdivide it, this will give us our number of cuts. We want to go ahead and subdivide this out three times. Well, let's sub subdivide it five times. <clears throat> okay. Now come back into your vertices. A to deselect everything. And we want to put a triangle here. So F to select that. Come over here and select these ones. F to select that. Control Z, Control Z, Shift, and uh, have to select that. <coughs> right click, hold Shift, F to put them there. Okay. Now we actually want to round this up just a little bit more. So we want to put another triangle next to that all the way around.
All right. A to D select everything. Now that we have some funky faces, uh, some extra lines, a whole bunch of extra faces here, <clears throat> we actually want to start making this a bit more realistic. So first thing we want to do is start selecting uh, these faces around here. Thin this out a bit. Mm, I think I'm going to go ahead and thin this in three times on each side that looks good enough go ahead and hit delete on your keyboard and delete those faces okay now we need to uh, make that a bit nicer there so we're gonna make a few more triangles come into your uh, vertice mode F F F. A to D select. That looks okay. F. 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 It's okay. Alright, now we have a simple start here. We actually want to uh, pull that down a bit though and make it a bit more round, right? So the next thing we want to do here is we want to have proportional editing right here. It's already enabled, so we're good. Now I want to select all of these middle vertices. And I want to pull them, no, not that proportional. Control Z. Control Z. Under uh, mesh, we should have uh, proportional editing up here. Have it enabled, but there should be a type of proportional editing we want kind of a sphere look now we're pulling down too many control Z so we're gonna go ahead and just turn off proportional editing for now control Z and this is how we're gonna do this we're just gonna pull down uh, first all of these vertices here A to D select control the circle again now pull down your middle ones A to D select control the circle left click and then pull these ones down now we have a bit of a rounding there for the bottom. So that's just a very quick introduction. Um, our uh, design isn't nearly close to done yet, but I'm out, about out of time for this video. So uh, we're going to come back and keep working with this and keep making it much more specific and realistic like we have started to do there at the bottom. Okay, I will see you all again soon.